Oh my god, I hate DNFing. But DNFing is Karen. Roll the intro. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Money Reads where I talk about books and things. And this year has been the year of no reading. <laughs> Really, I've been working so much. I've been working over 45 hours a week. So really, my reading time has incredibly decreased. And also, if you don't know, I'm on a no-buy year. What is what, what that means is basically that I'm not buying any new books. I'm just reading books that I already own or that I can get through Audible with my one credit a month or that I can get through Scribd. So I have tried to read a bunch of books, but I'm only going to talk about the physical books that not only am I not going to continue reading, I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to continue reading them. And also, this is a mini on haul because I think these books are going to be leaving my library. Like I've said before in another video, I think I have come to the realization that I'm not a book reader as much as I am a book collector, at least when it comes to physical books. When it comes to... When it comes to um, audio books or when it comes to ebooks, I am definitely a reader, but I like to collect books in the physical format. I don't know if that makes sense, but I will talk about it in another video. So these books, um, one of them I don't want to get rid of just because I really love the cover, but at the same time, it's like, do I want to keep a book like this? But anyway, I'm going to talk first about The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. Le Guin. Now, Ursula K. Le Guin is a very interesting writer for me because I just think that I don't like her writing style. I have read another book by her which is The World The World for the, No! The Word for World Oh my god, I can never say that. You have no idea how many outtakes I have of me trying to say that. The Word for World is Forest. There we go. So, I have read that book and I enjoyed it, but I think I enjoyed it because of its briefness. It's very short. It's basically a novella. And the thing with The Left Hand of Darkness is that it's definitely not a novella and I just don't enjoy her writing style. However, I do wish that I had enjoyed this book because it, the premise is amazing. The premise is about basically on Earth we have evolved to all be kind of sexless, like not sexless, sorry, genderless. We have evolved to be genderless and um, a ambassador from like the Federation of Planets comes and it's like, hey, do you want to join the Federation of Planets? And he has to deal with this idea of genderlessness and, you know, and try to convince Earth to join the Federation of Worlds. It's not called the Federation of Wor Worlds, but I don't remember what it's called. My problem with this book is this book reads to me like a fantasy. It's such a fantasy book that I kept forgetting we were like talking about science fiction. And as you all know, I'm not a big reader of fantasy. There's nothing wrong with fantasy. It's just it's not my style. And if I come into a sci-fi and what I find is that it reads like a fantasy, like to the point where there's a king, a king, you know, which I know, I know there are the queen of Naboo in, in, in Star Wars, but it just didn't feel Star Wars-y to me. It felt very fantasy to me. I felt like I was reading a fantasy, which there's nothing wrong with that, except that it just didn't meet my expectations. So that's kind of why I left it. I don't like the way Ursula K. Le Guin writes. So this one is leaving my shelves. Um, by the way, if anybody that is in Spain wants it, let me know and maybe I'll send it to you. Lena from Sufficiently Advanced Lena, if you feel like you want this book and you don't own it, I will happily send it to you. The next book I have is The Wind Up Girl by Paolo Basigal... Basigalupi? Bas, Bas, Basigalupi. I'm, that's, that's how I'm gonna say that. Um, I read this when it first came out, I think in 2009. Or at least I tried to read it. And I don't know why, what, what like, prompted me to r pick it up again if I didn't finish it back then. But also, back then I started like a big reading slump. So I was like, me, I was enjoying this book when I started reading it. But Honestly, I just couldn't care less. Again, I'm a big character person. If I don't like the characters, then I'm not going to continue reading a book. And the characters in this were just not compelling to me. There's also like a very graphic rape scene in this book. And I just didn't... I didn't want to continue reading it. That's that's the reality. Also, it's it's got that whole thing of like government officials and like... 
like novella noir sort of thing where you know we have to take down governments and people are undercover it kind of reminded me of rosewater by ted a thompson and um if you know anything about me you know that i didn't enjoy that book that's not the kind of science fiction that i like and yeah this just isn't the science fiction that i like um and then you know, there, there's this girl who is a sex worker and the main character is a guy and he becomes obsessed with her and I just... No. No. <laughs> That's basically it. There's also this whole thing with like what is exotic is Asian and what is normal is white and just... No, we, we're not going to do that. So, um, this one, I, I'm sad for it to leave my collection because I remember when I picked this up the first time, I was actually new to booktube and I think there's there are videos of me uh, hauling this the first time. And I'm sad to see it go. I love the cover. I think the cover is great and I just think this could have been a better book. This is it. This could have been a better book. And the last one I have here. I just can't. I can't. And I know so many people have this as their favorite book and I have to ask how and why which is cloud atlas by david mitchell now i got about 30 pages into this book and the amount of racism in it was just overwhelming i was sincerely overwhelmed by it it has the n-word in the first 30 pages like in the first chapter it has it and i was um buddy reading this with sarah from voyages through time uh, through tomes, sorry, and I just, we both were like, yeah, we don't want to do that, like, I don't want to read a book by a white person that, um, thought it was okay to use the n-word. Oh my god, my battery's dying, be right back. Okay, this one doesn't have that much battery either, so let's get through this real quick. Also, again, with the whole Asian being the whole, the, the, the other, the exotic, and white being the norm, I don't like that. I don't like it when books are like that. I think that that's one of the reasons why I really like sci-fi. It's because kind of like <laughs> we just pretend that all that we are all the same, you know. There's a whole video where I talk about that. But anyway, yeah. This is definitely leaving my shelves. I don't like keeping books on my shelves that have the end award in it. It's just not one of my favorite things to do. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the books that I've DNF'd. Um, I am in the middle of reading a bunch of books, so yeah, that's another video for another time. But for now, I just want to thank you so much for coming to my channel. Please leave a black heart or a red heart or whatever down below if you have watched up until now and if you enjoyed this. Or just leave me a comment letting me know you enjoy it or like or subscribe or do neither or do, or do nothing. Just do whatever makes you happy. And yes, without any further ado, I bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and that I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. My camera's flashing again. I have to go. I have to go.